What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know, including details on Roman Reigns' injury, bad news for Brock Lesnar, Bray Wyatt's illness was life threatening, why Mr McMahon had surgery, Triple H will be removed from board of directors and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at several superstars struck down by injuries and ailments. At top of today's news are three stories concerning some of WWE's top superstars who are currently dealing with injuries and ailments, including two who were reportedly hurt at SummerSlam. We'll also have an update on Mr. McMahon's recent spinal surgery and rumoured reason why he went under the knife. Let's look at an update on Roman Reigns' injury. As more details emerging on Roman Reigns' injury at SummerSlam, Dave Meltzer is reporting in this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Reigns suffered either a hip or back injury from the tope from Jey Uso about five minutes into his main event match. You could see the way he moved and walked that he was in pain, but to his credit, unless you were looking for it, you probably didn't see it. Unfortunately, there's still no word on the severity of the injury and whether Reigns will miss time due to it. Rumour has it Reigns will be taking time off as he appears on tonight's SmackDown. The only question is whether it's due to the Tribal Chief's relaxed schedule or the WWE needing him to stay inactive to recover from the rumoured injury. Next up, bad news for Brock Lesnar. Now it turns out Roman Reigns wasn't the only superstar who suffered an injury at SummerSlam. Dave Meltzer is reporting that Lesnar who was injured early in the match where he put over Cody Rhodes was at one point advertised for stuff later this year. As of right now, he put Rhodes over clean, shook his hand, turned himself back babyface in doing so and the plan is for him to return on TV, building up the Royal Rumble and from there going on to WrestleMania. Meltzer noted that while Brock is now in line to return around the Rumble, he could be back sooner if needed. Although I could see him returning for the November Saudi Arabia show, even if today that isn't the plan or if there is an injury, he's always there if they need a program. Now, there's no word though on the exact nature of the beast injury, but it's worth noting that Cody vs Brock's match went over 17 minutes, which is all the more impressive if Lesnar was not hurt, not to mention that Brock rarely works that long. Next up, Bray Wyatt's illness was life-threatening. There's more news coming in on the mystery illness that kept Bray Wyatt out of action for much of 2023. Fightful Select recently revealed that the illness was so severe it could have ended Wyatt's career and possibly his life. Fortunately, Bray is on the road to recovery, although it's unknown when he'll be cleared to compete. As for when Bray will be back, the patron site reports, Of late, we've confirmed that Wyatt isn't actively cleared, but those we've spoken to claim he's getting closer and there have been some creative ideas presented. One source indicated that some ideas were even mentioned for September, however that won't mean anything if he doesn't get that clearance. Bray Wyatt's backers have to be happy that he's on the road to recovery as there was so much uncertainty concerning his status and now that fans know how serious his illness was, they have all the more reason to be grateful for his being on the mend. Next up, the reason why Mr. McMahon had surgery. Now more details are emerging on Vince McMahon's spinal surgery. The WWE's executive chairman underwent spinal surgery last July and Dave Meltzer is weighing in on the possible reason McMahon went under the knife. McMahon's spinal surgery was for his back. Some thought it was for his neck where he had surgery in 94 before his trial. It's likely from a lifetime of heavy lifting, notably continuing to do squats heavy long after most would have given up on it for the care of their bodies. Squats are the best exercise for building muscle, but in time they will take their toll on your hips and back. And McMahon has had his hip issues as well, but never got a hip replacement because he was told he would never give up heavy squats. Mr. McMahon is currently on medical leave of absence. He may find himself busy when he returns as WWE's Endeavor merger is believed to be nearing completion. In addition, McMahon is still reportedly under investigation by the federal government and was subpoenaed to appear before a federal grand jury. Now we send our well wishes to Roman, Brock, Bray and Vince as they deal with their reported injuries and ailments. Next up, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler blame WWE creative. What do you guys think of the MMA rules match? If you thought it was a dud, you're not alone and now word has it that there is plenty of finger pointing as to who to blame for the bungled bout. Meltzer reported that the match didn't connect with the audience and we're told that Creative was blamed for not doing their ideas and Creative blamed them for doing only their ideas, so it was one of those stories where nobody really got what they wanted in the match. Who do you think is responsible for the match's outcome? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE stock hits an all-time high. That's good news if you're a WWE stockholder as it's an all-time high of $114 per share on Thursday. Brandon Thurston tweeted, WWE closes today at $114, a new all-time high close price. 
This is quite the jump when the stock was only going for roughly $72. Hell, even at its lowest, it went down to $32. Next up, Dominic delivers ratings. A dirty Dominic Mysterio has done it again. No, we're not talking about his latest successful North American Championship defense by nefarious means, but him delivering the goods when it comes to ratings. Ringside News summed up the report from WrestleNomics concerning Dom Dom's impact on the black and gold brand. The top rated segments on this week's NXT were both centered around Dominic Mysterio. During the 9 o'clock quarter hour, there were 844,000 viewers, while the 7 minute post match period of his bout with Dragon Lee attracted 870,000 viewers. Now, we should point out that Rhea Ripley was on the show as well and she could have moved the ratings needle as well. Nonetheless, if Dom keeps bringing the ratings, will WWE eventually reward him with a world championship? Next up, Triple H will be removed from the board of directors. Is Triple H being bounced from the board of directors if and when the WWE Endeavor merger goes through? Kate Side Seats reported on the documents recently filed with the SEC in regards to the proposed merger. Under the terms of the transaction agreement, upon the completion of the transaction, the new PubCo board will consist of 11 members who will be determined prior to the closing, five of whom will be selected by WWE, of whom two will be members of the WWE management team, one of whom will be Mr. McMahon, and three will be independent, and six will be selected by Endeavor, of whom three will be members of the Endeavor management team or Endeavor directors. The Cage Side Seats report noted that WWE has selected Vince McMahon and Nick Khan for the upcoming board. While Triple H's name isn't on the list, it's possible the Cerebral Assassin will be added on later. However, if Triple H doesn't make the cut, he should be more than busy heading the WWE's creative department, unless Vince McMahon decides to move back in. Next up, has the WWE solved its Women's Tag Team Championship conundrum? The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship picture is more of a mess than ever thanks to Sonya Deville's recent injury. Incredibly, Sonya isn't the first champion sidelined with an injury recently, leading to talk of the belt being cursed. It's clear WWE needs to do something with the titles, and according to Ringside News, fans shouldn't have to wait long. We've been able to confirm that a decision about the titles has been made for the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, expect an announcement on SmackDown or Raw. Meanwhile, Sonya's partner Chelsea Green has launched Chelsea's Got Talent, a competition to find herself a new co-champion. R-Truth recently threw his hat into the ring with Green acknowledging R-Truth's recent video application. There, the 34,000 time 24-7 champion posted. He mentioned, Hey, what's up, Chelsea? I heard you were having an audition. I heard about that girl. Pick me. I do a lot of stuff. I tell jokes. I dance. I ramp. I sing. I play the harmonica. I play the piccolo. Pickleball. I even kill spiders on occasions. Not all spiders. Charlotte's Web was a good one. I'm working my way back to the ring and I need something to do. You got the women's tag titles. Let me be your partner until your partner comes back. What do you guys think? Should R-Truth be Chelsea Green's partner? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Jim Ross riding off into the sunset. Is JR finally riding off into the sunset? Well, that's a question fans and pundits are asking following a recent report from Dave Meltzer that good old JR's AEW contract is believed to be up in September. Ross has battled various health ailments, including a recent bout with skin cancer. Do you think he should continue his legendary career, or is it time to hang up the headset? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a new announced team for main event. The times, they are changing, especially when it comes to WWE's announced teams. Not only did they shake up Raw and SmackDown's announce booth, but PW Insider reports the new announced team will be Byron Saxton and Wade Barrett. Prior to this, Saxton called the action alongside Kevin Patrick. What do you guys think of this switch? Did you even know main event was still on the air? And finally, John Cena's latest look. Last but not least, Cena's never afraid to change up his look for a film role as he made his latest look for his upcoming comedy show, Vacation Friends 2. Cena looks like a bit of a college dropout, doesn't he? What do you guys think of these stories? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.